Hey there guys, welcome to GM Tech once again. Today we're going to be having some fun with the WannaCry ransomware. As I'm sure you've all heard a few months back, uh, it actually blew up quite big. And that was all because of the eternal blue vulnerability in Windows, which was found through an NSA hack. Pretty interesting. But what's going to be even more interesting is actually launching the WannaCry ransomware. So, as we can zoom in, okay, well, what I've got you as just an image just to give you an idea of uh, what the file looks like right now. So, this would be pretty much like normal documents, images, whatever the case may be, on your desktop. So, what the WannaCry ransomware does is it actually encrypts all of your files, requests a payment to unencrypt them. So you actually can't open any of your files while it is um, launched. So let's do this. Just remember one thing to take note, as you can see, I am launching this in a virtual box. Don't launch it on your host PC. Uh, nothing good will probably come of that. So go for the virtual box. Let's do it. And this is the fun part. So now we can see, started the process. So that could have been masked as, say, a PDF in an email. Open that up, and there we go. You can see, it's actually changed my wallpaper. Giving you a little information about it. Now, that image that I was talking about before, where I showed you guys, Let's try open that up. And as you can see, it doesn't open up. Everything is encrypted. Got in the message, oops, your files have been encrypted. You've got time left to until the payment will be raised. And then it says all your files will be lost. Uh, within that time limit over there so if you did happen to uh, pay the requested amount of bitcoin to this address here and you got the uh, decryption key you can go ahead and decrypt it and there we go you can see it's time to pay now if you want to decrypt all your files well i'm sorry i ain't gonna pay you this is actually a virtual machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill the virtual machine. And that is that. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, do not do this on your PC. If you want to mess around with it, do it in a virtual box or a virtual machine. And yeah, like, subscribe for more security videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.